welcome back to another Facebook Live. We had a, a little glitch right there getting started, so we're starting a minute or so late. But um, we'll just hang out here for a minute and just let people uh, get a chance to hop on. And um, today I think we're going to talk about uh, one of my favorite programs, I guess. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Um, in CS7. One of my favorite features about CS7 and that's the fact that we can draw some awesome uh, patterns in CS7. So we're going to start that in just a minute. Um, Jan's got a pretty quilt going back here. This is by a friend of ours, Charlene Brissendeen. Um, it is, what's the name of this quilt? Regency Sussex. Regency Sussex quilt. So it's a very pretty quilt in the background back here. So um, we wanted to talk about drawing patterns, and this is one of my favorite features in CS7 that um, we can draw some really awesome patterns in CS7. I work with um, Adobe Illustrator in Art and Stitch, um, in Auto Sketch, and those are all great programs, I think, for what they're designed to do. But I believe that CS7 is the best program out there for drawing quilting patterns. So there's a lot of different ways to draw quilting patterns and a lot of different uh, people draw them in different fashions and everything and use different features. I wanted, uh, uh, without going too far in depth in it today, um, I just wanted to show you um, my take on drawing patterns and we're going to use um, draw curve this is my um, this is my way i draw patterns using draw curve so the other day um, a friend of ours uh, jules mcconnell posted a picture of her first pattern on facebook and um, it, it was her first pattern that she had drawn and quilted out and it was it was really special and i thought well that's really cool you know now now once you start drawing patterns i think that that you'll just keep on going with it so like when we're on the road i'll draw patterns draw motifs and stuff and i really enjoy drawing motifs and and um, i'll draw some edge to edge patterns occasionally but um, like for our different stops on the way, I would draw something and stitch it out on the uh, demo machines at the, at the events. So that's, that's a lot of fun for me. But um, I want to show you a real easy way that you can draw patterns and, and some things that we can do. So we're going to start over here. Um, I imported an image in. You can use images. Um, we use, uh, this is free clip art, uh, just found online, um, just, just an image. Uh, but I think that um, you need to be careful about uh, art, uh, intellectual integrity. Um, I think you need to be conscious all the time of, of the artists and the, the people that do the work and not steal their patterns and not, you know, take advantage of the artwork. So um, we're using a free clip art pattern right here. So we're going to use draw curve and, and I'll show you how I do this sometimes. Uh, we're going to go down and we're going to, we imported this image into CS7 and we're going to go down to image attributes and we're going to um, take some of the opacity out of it so we can work over it a little bit easier. So we tone that down quite a bit and then, can you still see that uh -huh. good? Okay. We're going to tone that down um, so we can work over top of it. So I use draw curve most of the time. A lot of people draw use draw arc for these kind of curvy patterns. And I want to show you something right here. Um, if you use draw arc, and draw arc does a nice job, I think you can click around these patterns with draw arc and it makes uh, a nice curve. And we'll just go ahead and just take a minute to do that.
But there's a couple things with draw arc that um, that it does that I don't really care for, and I'll show you that in just a second here. So this is the first one right here. When you use draw arc to draw a segment of your pattern, it comes out just that. It's it comes out just as a segment, and if we hit our nodes key we have a lot of extra nodes in there that we don't need um, a lot of times let me see if i can find one it has some short nodes in here here's an example right here these these nodes that are close to one another right here we really don't need that and when we go in to edit it um, that's just that more, much more stuff that we have to go in and straighten up. It makes sharp little corners like right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of makes a sharp little edge. The other thing it does is it makes a perfect arc. So if, if you have like a, a compound curve where a curve starts out a little tighter, like this one right here starts out a little tighter and and then gets comes around in a in a different radius um, draw arc doesn't do that so well and the third thing about draw arc um, although it does draw a very nice perfectly round arc is that your pattern comes out in segments this is a segment this is a segment and um, that, that, that may or may not be an issue for us, but I want to show you a different technique that we can use to draw a pattern very quickly. So we'll delete this. Oops, see, there's a segment down there that got left. We'll delete that. And we are going to use draw a curve. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm starting right here where I want to go from this heart back over to this heart. So I pick a point right here where I'm going to make that transition as opposed to starting my heart up here. And we're just going to use draw a curve and just one click right there, right here, right here, maybe one there, 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 there. Let's see, we'll put one there, 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 and there. Now, granted, that's not very pretty, but let me show you how fast we can clean this up. These are very simple lines and it makes a very nice radius. Um, we don't have a bunch of extra nodes in there to mess with, so we can clean this whole pattern up in just a minute. And the other thing I like about this technique the most is that it's one continuous line. So as you're clicking these points around your pattern, if you kind of think about, just like anything else in quilting, if you kind of think about where you're going next and uh, what, you're, what you want to do, then things work out a lot better. You get your... Um, you get your pink nodes exactly, your anchor nodes exactly where you want them, and then our blue nodes, we can adjust and pull this all out. So like this segment right here, we could have made this with, with just one. Let me fix this right here with just one click. So just uh, that quick, we've made a, a nice little motif. We can pull it off to the side now that we have it out here and we can see that it's a little jaggy right here, kind of clean some of these spots up. If you want a very nice curve, if um, a nice rounded curve, the best thing to do is to get these two lines right here 
in a line so that this segment from our blue node down to here down to here is all in a straight line then it makes a nice natural curve right there so just that quick in one minute we made this we traced this little piece of clip art and um, and made a little quilting pattern that we can do uh, whatever we want with we can whatever we can echo it or see what this does boom do all kinds of things with it so let's go over here um, we'll do it again uh, I put this up here so that we can look at this real quick um, even though a pattern has straight lines in it a still a lot of times I'll still use um, all draw curve when I'm drawing this pattern I'll come across from here to here make this this radius right here which is a pretty good size radius than this little one in here that's a little bit tighter right here then back up to here and then we can go all the way up to the top and we'll make this all in one here's the other thing about draw a curve and we'll stop right there We'll clean this up real quick. So I think this is the neatest thing about Creative Studio is that we can draw virtually anything with this technique that you can imagine. You can draw it in Creative Studio and stitch it. See this line, if we line our, our blue nodes up, and we just bring these nodes down. There's a question. Yeah. If the shape doesn't come out just where you want, can nodes be added? Yeah, yes, you can, um, you can divide it and, and add more to it, of course. But after a while, after a while, you start to see um, where you need to click. You start to understand, like this, I knew that I could make this whole radius with just one click from here to here because I knew that it would do this. But if you have, um, if you try not to bite off more than, than you can do, at one time with a with a curve or an arc then things go okay um, you just after a bit it's a skill set just like anything else that once you once you start seeing how much that you can get with um, each segment of your curve then then um, things will go a little bit easier it's, it's just it just takes a little bit of practice and this is something that you can do in your spare time or when you're watching baseball or you're on that endless zoom call with your boss and and they'll think you're studiously working on your notes although i would never do that um, let me show you one other thing are there any more questions before we move on? This is a pattern the other day. Um, our videographer here, my talented wife, just sketched out, and she didn't know I did this, did you? Mm. No, you didn't. Okay. So I used exactly the same technique doing this. So she was... Um, proud of this is a nice looking little pattern and I used exactly the same technique and when I used draw a curve drawing this one I drew it like this and this took a little bit of time um, I probably worked on this for maybe 45 minutes and I would just click around the Scroll in a little bit deeper. Just clicked around the leaves like this. Down, 
one up there, one down, and uh, went around the whole pattern just like that. And you can see it came out without any editing at all. It came out pretty good right here. Let me show you. We almost had a pattern before we ever started. So that was her original pattern right there off of her sketch. So we take it back over and uh, I brought it up and I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I changed the, so that the start point and the end point came down a little bit differently. Um, cleaned the blossoms up and cleaned the leaves up a little bit. And um, it looked pretty good. I thought it fit together pretty well. And uh, so I kind of edited it just a little bit more and made a pretty cool little edge to edge sequence out of it. So just like that, just that quick, that anything that you can draw out and anything that you can imagine can be a quilting pattern and you can do it with draw a curve. So I thought that that was pretty cool. So um, do we have any questions uh, about that at all? No. So anyway, I thought that that'd be a neat little piece to bring to you today. Um, I, I, this is one of the things that I really, really enjoy about CS7. This is the only program I think that's really, truly out there that was designed for drawing quilting patterns. Um, the ability to bring in uh, images, outside images or anything that you can draw and uh, bring them in and um, set up a quilting pattern, make a quilting pattern and actually quilt it out. Um, make it your own, you know. So, if we don't have any questions, I guess that's about it for today. So, thank you for sticking with us here today and uh, sorry we started a little late and uh, it was good to see everybody again and we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.